Interproximal Reduction IPR Interproximal Reduction, also called diameter reduction or enamel reduction, is one of the most common methods to resolve tooth crowding treated with invisible orthodontic appliance. IPR means that the dentist uses handheld abrasive strips, diamond dental burr, abrasive discs, etc. To remove a small amount of enamel in the mesial and distal surface of the tooth at the designated IPR position, so as to create the required space for resolving the tooth crowding and aligning the patient's teeth. Material Preparation 1. Handheld Abrasive Strips 2. Dental burr specific for IPR 3. Gap measuring gauge 4. Polishing strips 5. Flow protector or fluorinated gel Indication and contraindication of IPR Indication 01 Class 1 crowding Indication 02 Long carries susceptible. Indication 03 Shovel shaped teeth. Indication 04 Bottom index discrepancy. Indication 05 Black triangle between teeth. Contraindication Susceptible to dental caries. Chloric stimulation sensitive teeth. Class second or class third clothing, microdontia. Matters needing attention in the treatment of invisible orthodontic appliance. Matters needing attention: one, use a special apparatus to take IPR. Matters needing attention: two, care should be taken to protect the patient's soft tissue during IPR. Matters needing attention. 3. Teeth with poor adjacency need to be taken IPR at the most convex point of the adjacency surface rather than at the contact area of the teeth. Matters needing attention. 4. Finish the polishing and fluorination of the IPR teeth. Usage of handheld abrasive strips. Handheld abrasive strips are suitable for the tooth enamel reduction with less or equal to 0.2 mm and should be gently inserted between teeth. Usage of handheld abrasive strips Firstly, slice with a thin abrasive strip and then a thick abrasive strip so as to reduce the stimulation for periodontal ligament. Use with both hands to remove enamel in the labial direction. Usage of handheld abrasive straps. Use a specified gap gauge to measure the space after IPR. Usage of specified IPR dental burr. Dental burr kit specified for IPR. Polishing burr for ejection anterior teeth. Polishing burr for adjacent posterior teeth. Glaze trimming burr. IPR dental burr for adjacent anterior teeth. IPR dental burr for adjacent posterior teeth. Usage of specified IPR dental burr. IPR dental burr is generally used for removing more than 0.3 mm of teeth enamel. Usage of specified IPR dental burr. The burr with red label is IPR dental burr. The burr with yellow label is dental polishing burr. Usage of specified IPR dental burr. When executing IPR, the dental burr shall be perpendicular to the tooth surface and it shall be lifted from the labial and lingual sides to the occlusal surface respectively under the ejection point to separate the ejection surface. Operate gently to avoid the subgingival stepped structure. 
to prevent the formation of funnel-shaped adjacency, dental burrs should be avoided to be vertical with the occlusal surface when executing IPR. The amount of IPR shall be 0.1 mm less than the specified amount, leaving room for trimming and polishing. Usage of axial surface trimming dental burr. After IPR, the special axial surface trimming dental burr shall be used to repair the shape of the tooth, restore the shape of tooth and the abduction gap. Usage of dental polishing burr. After IPR, polish the tooth surface with dental polishing burr. The polishing method is the same as that of IPR. When polishing, apply slight force to avoid excessive IPR. Demonstration of IPR operation The following part demonstrates the IPR operation of 0.6 mm between teeth 44 and 45 on the model. Demonstration of IPR operation Choose posterior IPR dental burr. 2. Keep IBR dental burr perpendicular to the buccal surface of the tooth. 3. Lift IBR burr from the adjacent point to the occlusal surface. Repeat this operation alternately on the buccal and lingual sides. 4. Floss your teeth to check whether the adjacent points are open and whether there are steps on the tooth surface. 5. Create 0.5 mm space firstly and leave the remaining 0.5 mm enamel reduction space for polishing. 6. After initial IPR, the axial surface angle is not round and smooth, and special axial surface trimming burr is needed to restore tooth body shape and tooth abduction. 7. After the restoration of axial surface morphology, polish the tooth surface with the posterior polishing burr. 8. Check whether the space is sufficient with a 0.6 mm gap measuring ruler. And finally, polish the tooth surface with polishing abrasive strip. 9. After IPR, the following standards should be achieved. The tooth body shall be natural, with round and smooth axial surface angle, open adduction gap, and a perfect adjacency relationship after closing gaps. Demonstration of IPR operation After IPR, the tooth surface shall be fluorinated. Apply fluorinated gel or fluorinated paint on the IPR tooth surface. 